Welcome to Khabarim. I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and Russia has just launched the secured intra net for military communications. Uh, this is something that's just just came across uh, on Sputnik, and that is concerning to me, as it will be for anybody in America, no doubt. Uh, says the network is not connected to the internet, while non-certified flash drives and external hard drives cannot be plugged into the computer's part of the intranet. The intranet is something that they are launching for their military activities. That way they cannot be hacked into. Uh, it says a secured information network for the needs of the Russian army has been launched in the country. Media reported on Wednesday, citing Defense Ministry source. The last stage of the work was completed in late summer of this year. The network is fully operational now and present. Uh, we plan to extend it by installing additional ter terminals in military units and institutions. The store source said, as quoted by the Russian uh, Izvestia newspaper. It says the network is not connected to the internet while non-certified flash drives and external hard drives cannot be plugged into the computer's part of the intranet. It is equipped with a secured email service which allows transmissions of classified information uh, and documents in every military unit. There are servers that encrypt information divided into several packages and pass it on. Access to the server rooms is strictly limited. Um, and uh, it goes on to say the military system partially uses infrastructure rented from cable network provider Rolls-to-Com, but part of the network reported relies on the Defense Ministry's own infrastructure. Uh, very serious indeed when you start seeing this type of action by Russia, kind of makes you wonder what Russia is really seriously up to. Of course, Russia has had so many threats by the United States uh, Obama administration with the sanctions, um, with uh, the general there, General uh, Miley, who clearly said that we will defeat you, we will crush you. Uh, and, and of course, in the latest uh, threats that we have seen in the leaked uh, audios of John Kerry, where he says in order to be able to take out Bashar al-Assad in Syria, they would actually have to come in there and take out Russia's defense uh, shield first to do that. Uh, so, and of course, the option still seems to be on the table to do just that. Now, you, you just cannot help but wonder why these threats are going on. And, uh, and yet at the same time, where another article I think that's really uh, worth bringing out here is uh, uh, Maria Zakharova, on, uh, on a television program said that the U.S. presidential campaign has become a global shame. Uh, Russian Foreign Minister spokeswoman uh, is who she is uh, that spoke about this. And she just wasn't only uh, criticizing all the email leaks that have been done by Hillary Clinton uh, that have come out to the public's eye as well, but she also was speaking about uh, the, uh, the locker room uh, speech by uh, president, presidential nominee Donald Trump. Uh, it has become a global shame to see what we have for candidacy. So the question is up now, what's really going to happen on the election day? Is something going to end up happening to where the vice presidential candidates become the running mates instead of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? Will it be Kane against Pence? And if that be the case, and we see, for example, uh, uh, Mr. Kane become president of the United States, then the Vatican, I'm sure, will be quite pleased to know that they have a Jesuit in the White House. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.